three people were rescued after several vehicles and pedestrians fell into a raging river in the mountainous western China following a bridge collapse. The bridge over the Panjiang River in Jiangyu City in Sichuan Province collapsed around 11.30 a.m. local time. The exact number of people who fell into the river and the number of casualties is not yet known. In Pakistan, anti-terrorism court in Rawalpindi adjourned the hearing of Benazir Bhutto murder case till 30th July. In today's hearing, the court expressed displeasure over the non-appearance of former President Parvez Musharraf. The former military ruler has been named as prime suspect in the assassination of former Pakistan Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Heavy rainstorm in Toronto has left some 300,000 people without power and flooded parts of Canada's largest city. More than 90 millimeters of rain, more than a month's average, was dumped on the city late last night. The rain flooded some major roads and subway stations, causing traffic chaos. Hundreds of passengers were stranded for several hours on a flooded commuter train and had to be evacuated on police boats. Water levels on the rush hour Richmond Hill train rose so high that passengers fled to the upper decks of the coaches. Porter Airlines cancelled all flights to and fro Toronto yesterday due to the violent weather. A car bomb rocked Beirut's southern suburbs, a stronghold of Lebanon's Shiite Hezbollah movement, injuring at least 53 people. The blast comes amid spiraling tension in Lebanon over the civil war raging in neighboring Syria, where Hezbollah fighters have joined President Bashar al-Assad's forces in facing down a revolt by mainly Sunni rebels. The attack took place in a zone closely monitored by Hezbollah.